a relatively low technically advanced product. I work in, a, in what we call the fluid connector group. We sell hose, connectors, and fittings. Not the most exciting product in the world, as you can all imagine. The challenge comes is that we sell a lot of it. We, we build over 100 miles of hose a day. We build over 100,000 connectors a day. And that's where the real challenge comes in. One thing that we've made a kind of our purpose in life is to begin to add intelligence to, into what that traditional, traditionally non-intelligent product is. So if we look at all the hose, all the fittings, all the connectors that we build, how can we begin to add sensors to this that are cost effective and that can do some of the predictive failures, pre predictive maintenance type of work that we need to do? To do. It would be very difficult for me to add a $100 sensor onto a $10 part. So the challenge has been how do we actually create a sensor that's cost effective enough to add it to a relatively low cost part to begin with. This is where we talk about electroactive polymers and our booth is actually just right over the chairs right there. So if you actually want to come by and see samples of what we have going, I'd be more than happy to show it to you along with the other members of our team. But what we're doing is we're actually printing sensors. And so we print sensors on a very thin, flexible material that can do various sorts of sensing. So it can do temperature, it can do pressure, it can do force, it can do strains, it can do high strains. So when you start looking at the product that we build with hose and fittings, hoses stretch, they fail. How can we implement a sensor onto that type of product and be able to tell us about what the remaining life of that product is? We're tying all that into our Internet of Things product offering. And so a lot of these sensors are wireless. You can imagine a lot of our applications are very rugged, harsh, dirty. You don't really want to go into a lot of these applications. So we install these sensors. People don't want to go and maintain these sensors. And a lot of them are battery powered. And they wirelessly send their data up into uh, our cloud where you can access the data through uh, different web portals that we've developed. As you can see from the picture there, we do have some evaluation kits also, so if people actually want to look at the technology, they want to purchase the technology, they can put it on their product and say, hey, this might work great for your application too. Again, we're focused primarily on heavy industrial type of applications, but obviously from a lot of the, the, the people that are here, uh, it's a different world. There's a lot of wearable type stuff, a lot of light, lighter weight type stuff out there than the big John Deere tractors and Caterpillar manufacturing equipment. The conductive inks that we've developed, and this is just one small part of it. This is actually what we got the award for, and this is where the, the, the 10 years of development worth, um, work has come into play, where we've got hundreds of different formulations that we've tried and tested and tuned to actually meet the functional requirements of the application, to be able to get the, the conductivity of the inks uh, uh, good, to be able to allow the sensors to comply, to stretch over 100% while maintaining that conductivity, that has been a real challenge. When you look at our product, it doesn't look very exciting, but when you start to really dig into it, it's like that's a lot of work and a lot of time to develop those sorts of formulations to perform this way. Again, I'm not going to go over to the technical details necessarily, but we are at the booth. I'll be more than happy to talk your ear off about it. Again, that's Parker Hannafin in a nutshell. Thank you to, to all the people for hearing me out. Thank you to the ID Tech X team, and thank you for the team members for pouring a lot of work into this.